turns out when I don't have to go to work, I can get a lot of reading done. So, yay! I read that. It has left me completely stunned and kind of in shock. And it's a long book. I think some of it went over my head and maybe I was a little too distracted while I read it. But this blew my mind. I'm probably not going to read anything new or exciting in the next few hours. This is my first Amy Bender and it was really fabulous. Um, this was amazing. Love this man. This was so good. John Irving's incredible. Please read this book. Okay, I have like five books. I'm just gonna switch back and forth between them so I don't get bored. The last like maybe five pages of this book left such a bad taste in my mouth. And I also finished Middlemarch. So I think some things were lost on me in audiobook form. And look, it's the same under the dust jacket. I read this in one sitting. It's absolutely amazing. It's a tiny little thing. For example, uh, one of the farms they worked on is where I used to go apple picking and I just didn't feel like reading as much as usual. And I was very intimidated by this going into it. There's a bear. But if you have not yet read Miss Bourne, please. It. We are going to talk about what I read in the last 24 hours. Um, I'm totally looking forward to devouring everything she's ever written. I had no idea how weird this was going to be. This might be my favorite game in so far, but I was really sad when it ended. This one I wasn't quite so enthralled with. Holy crap. Why have I not been reading Jeanette Winterson? It was dark. It was really fucked up. You know, it's a man's world for Hemingway. And I cannot make myself finish this. I could not stop thinking about this book. Did not realize going into this that it was going to be a little bit spooky. I am so sad that the series is over because it's so fantastic. And when I was reading them, I was like, man, these sound really familiar. I wonder if I've read these before. It's the first book I read by Angela Carter and I really enjoyed it. I was like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And it didn't make any sense to me. And I didn't really like the writing. And I have a lot of feelings about this book and it was totally mind-blowing, definitely a life-changing collection. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Didn't hate it as much as I thought I would for some reason. I gave the book three stars overall. She's like a kind of a weirdo. <laughs> I do like to read poetry out loud to myself, y'all. <laughs> I read the entirety of the Live Ship Traders trilogy. Why did she write them? Why are they there? Holy shit, I'm reading six books at the same time. This is terrible. <laughs> This is the last of Diaz's major works that I had not yet read. We have an M in volume that read The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton, which is a beast. I have no idea where the dust jacket for this book went. I have one. I will say it is one of the strangest books I have read this year. It is also one of the best books that I have read this year. I mean, excuse my language, but it was a total mindfuck. It's really crazy.